Hello everyone and welcome back. All right, well, I just got out of work. I had to work a little OT tonight, um, which is awesome with Christmas right around the corner. And I got to work Sunday too, which is really cool. But anyways, uh, we have a challenge lock here for you um, that I thought I had picked before, but I went through my challenge locks in my playlist and I did not see it. So I'm thinking this is probably the first time this has been in the lock lab here. It's called The Tough Guy by West Coast Picks, my buddy Harley. Um, this lock was sent to me by K1 Locks, and again, brother, thank you for the awesome locks you sent me. But, um, yeah, we're going to see if we can turn that frown upside down. But, um, yeah, let's get this in the vise. Like I said, I thought I had already picked it. It's definitely a familiar lock to me. So I'm sure I have watched it picked out there in the community. Um, if any of you guys have picked this lock before, let me know in the comments. Um, maybe it'll jog my memory a little bit. But we're going to see if we can get in it. And, um, yeah, it's got a pretty wide open keyway, so at least that's not tough. <clears throat> but we're going to find out in a minute. And some of West Coast Picks locks are tough. I mean, I have a couple in my naughty bucket, so I know. All right. Um, all right, well, we're going to use this tension wrench from West Coast Picks. And, wait a minute, I think that's in 40. Yeah, no, that one's in 40. We got it. There's a lot of room there. That's <laughs> a wide open keyway. And, well, of course, we're going to use my favorite pick from Trekmaster 30. Since we have a wide open keyway here, let's get to work. It's got the key mummied, so I'm not sure if it's five or six pins. Sometimes, even by picking it, I can't tell. Right, I think that was pin three. Got a tiny click from him. Ooh, that one felt like an overset. Oh, got some feedback there on three. Oh, nope, I think that was actually pin four. I'm thinking there's six pins in here now. Okay, that was three, that was two. A little, very small click from it. Right, again, some feedback here on five. On rotation and a little bit more. All right, we'll leave him alone for a minute. On rotation there on five. So he had to go again. Feels like I have something over set. Let's see. Actually, I think it's straightened out. We got some good feedback here on one. Definite counter rotation there. All right. Hopefully we got him. And then we got some good feedback here on two. More counter rotation. Now we got a good false set. It's starting to turn that frown upside down. Good feedback here on three. Has some awesome feedback in this lock. Right? Let's see if we can find some more feedback. Oh, yeah. Pin one. Okay. So we definitely got him that time. We do have a decent fall set going. Oh, and we're open on three. Awesome. All right. Hey, I don't know if I should turn that upside down. I want to lock up the pins, but now we got that smile sideways anyways. Here we go. Let's get it there. There's your smile face. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, let's get this thing open and uh, yeah, let's see what West Coast Picks put in there. Let me back this camera out. Yeah, that was a fun pick. There was a lot of feedback in that lock. That was an awesome lock to play with. A lot of fun. All right, let's get this cap off. I'm going to try to do this without locking it up. And forget it, because that's not going to fit. Let's lo uh, Actually, yeah, let's open up this. Let's check out this key. I like to unmummy my keys. I mean, that's part of the challenge lock. 
some of these guys they um, make these you know keys up themselves and modify them or whatever so we're gonna check it out but he's got a key machine so he modifies this on his key machine that's got a decent bidding too so let's check it out a little clicking at the top but that's expected all right um let me see use this little poker maybe all right awesome okay actually let me see if that spring's gonna come out yeah it did sometimes they don't want to come out All right, let's check this out. Let's see what Harley put in there for everybody. That should be where the drivers are. Okay, and there's five pins in this lock. All right. Like I said, it's very hard for me to tell. I don't know why, but... I get them confused in there, but they're all in there. Ooh, we got some spools. Like I said, there was some nice spools in there. A lot of feedback in this lock. Yeah, yeah, everything needs to be picked. Wow, nice. Let's check these out. Nice spool in one. Ooh, a very tiny with a nice single serration right in the middle of that one. Got it serrated in three. A spool here in four. I'll spin that around. And uh, it looks like a little spool there in five. Could be a wide serration. You could call it either or. Now let's see if he's got anything up here. A lot of times he doesn't do anything to the core of the Bible. <laughs> and believe me, <laughs> some of his locks you don't need to because they're tough enough. All right, we got a serrated in one. A little copper spring. Oh, that's a pin and pin. That's the top of it. And here comes the bottom. I call it the bottom, which is near the spring, which is actually, if you look at it this way, it's actually at the top, but. All right, we got a steel spring. Oh, that's an awesome pin and pin. I don't think I've ever actually seen one. Uh, quite like that very cool all right let's see what else we have okay we got a nice spool here a little tiny spool I don't want to knock these pins around let me see if I can get it out here Oops. all right we got a stubborn spring in three we'll work on that in a minute Ooh. another pin and pin here in five Awesome. This one here has got a lot of serrations right there on the top. And I think that's a brass spring. Last but not least, okay, I think we have another pin and pin. That looks like a little, okay, it's just a little tiny driver, a uh, standard driver. And I think that might be a steel spring. That's a very tiny driver. All right, let's see if we can get this spring out of three. Oh, there it is. Actually, all the springs almost look the same. You know, that's a steel one. These are copper. A little hard to tell with my lighting in here. All right, let's... Uh, <laughs> I got this awesome flashlight from Harley West Coast Picks, but a lot of times you put these lights down like that. And if you leave it on, like I did, they get, well, they actually got a little brighter. Um, it went pretty dim on me because I must have left it on for hours. But, um, yeah, nothing done there in the uh, Bible. But let's check out these awesome pins. We got a couple of nice pin and pins here to show you. All right, cool. All right, key pin one, we have this spool up top here. The driver, we have a 
serrated. And then this one here goes that way. Kind of makes it kind of like a spool a little bit. Can't really pick this pin up. But well, maybe I'll put it back together. I'll show you. Glues together just like that. So it almost makes a spool type. At least I'm pretty positive that's the way it came out. And then, um, I'm not sure how to show you that key pin. Very tiny, with a nice serration right there in the middle. Key pin number three, got nicely serrated. And then a little tiny spool up here on top. Key pin four, we got a pretty deep spool. Very nice spool here. And then a little standard here. Almost looks like a wafer, it's so small. Excuse me. Um, key pin five, oh, that's kind of a spool. And then another pin and pin here in six. Oh, drop it again. Try to get that in frame for you. Oh, sorry about that. I like to pick up my pins now. I think they show a lot better than just leaving them in a tray. But got a nice pin and pin there with a nice spool on the collar. Very awesome. Really nice pins. Like I said, this lock had a lot of feedback. Very fun lock to pick. Awesome, Harley. Good job, brother. And, uh, yeah, well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. And, uh, yeah, guys, please be safe and stay legal. Thanks, guys. Bye.